internet. I'm taking a stab at this whole vlogging thing. I even prettied myself up for you guys. Put on some makeup. See? Did my hairs. Yeah, so, um, I know I've been absent for a couple of weeks. I haven't written any posts. I haven't done anything spectacular. Well, at least not you guys on the internet. Um, and I'd like to apologize for that. It was a tumultuous couple of weeks and I had a mini meltdown and uh, had to get back in the saddle and pick myself up by the bootstraps and get shit together, basically. And uh, I'm not going to over apologize for it because it's part of the ups and downs and struggle of being heavily depressed. So here I am trying again and uh, today is May 1st, 2015. Um, and I'd like to share a funny story that pretty much illustrates a lot of me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> my darling husband and I, Mr. Hubby, have been together for a very long time. Um, and today is our anniversary, actually. 17 years ago today, I lied to my foster parents and told them that I was sleeping at my girlfriend Catherine's house. And in truth, I was on a date, a very sweet date, with Brennan. And he wanted to play beautiful music and have candles and be very romantic. And unfortunately, um, we have a long-standing anything you can do, I can do better plan. Well, not plan, but uh, mode of uh, operation, I should say. And uh, I found out about his secret plan to be very romantic, and I figured I'd one-up him, and I did. So as the night regressed and we were dancing in his kitchen, he said, oh, I should get you home. Uh, Catherine's parents are going to be really worried. And I said, I'm not going to Kathy's house. And he said, oh, oh my God. He said, oh, um, well, um, I'll sleep on the couch. He said, you're not sleeping on the couch. And I think he lost his mind. <laughs> and that's one way to start a relationship. So, well, it wasn't really the beginning. It was the confirmation of a long-standing years of uh, attraction so it was it, they find it amusing that it was Beltane which is the, the Wiccan pagan festival of um, love and, and fruition and uh, fertilization and a lot of humping around bonfires which I'm totally for um, <laughs> lacking a bonfire though this year our plan was to go see Age of Ultron the Avengers movie because we're that kind of nerdy couple in our 17 year anniversary, why not? Freaking love the Avengers. Love comic books. Love Thor, by the way. Shh, don't tell him. Anyway, so our big plan was we were going to see the midnight showing of Age of Ultron last night. And that was going to be very romantic. Now, to backtrack a little bit, <clears throat> a couple days ago, actually a couple nights ago, I woke up in the middle of the night and beside me, Hubby was on the computer, and all of a sudden he had switched his browser window, and he looked very, very suspicious. Now, I was very confused, because if I had woken up and he was watching pornography, I wouldn't have cared. I would have looked over and said, oh, what are you watching? Is there anybody I'm interested in? And I probably rolled over and gone back to sleep. Or stayed up. You never know. So I found this behavior particularly weird, and in the morning I said, well, what's up with that? And he had to fess up. He pretended like he was caught watching pornography because he was really caught watching a leaked copy of Age of Ultron. So I find that this story perfectly illustrates the nature of my marriage and my life <laughs> where we're that kind of geeky couple that I was would have been completely okay with porn. Completely okay. Like I've never given him shit about porn. I think porn is a very healthy thing. I watch porn. I don't know if you guys watch porn, but if you admit to it or you don't, every, I think everybody at some point does. Um, but him watching Age of Ultron without me, that was a big daffy no-no. You know? Like, that's like geek code. You don't do that. You don't do that to somebody. So at any rate, he was, he was in the doghouse for that, and I find it really amusing that he had to pretend like he was looking at porn when he was really looking at comic book stuff. So at any rate, I've been rambling for 
five minutes, it says in the little corner thing down there that I can see. And I'm wondering if I've made an ass of myself or not. Um, moving forward. Yes, um, moving forward. What am I going to do with myself moving forward? Um, I have more blogs to post. I have more things to say. I, I don't know. I've been doing some tattooing, which I'm very proud of. Um, I know that technically I'm, I'm not working in the shop and, uh, this is all not quite what I'm supposed to be doing. I know that in the tattoo community, I should be getting an apprenticeship and using the, using the framework of having somebody to look up to, <clears throat> to teach me, a mentor, would be very, very helpful, but considering my limited um, transportation ab availability, unfortunately that hasn't been possible. I did, however, have tutelage from a mentor, my friend Maddie. this is a couple years ago now, he stayed with Brendan and I for several weeks and taught me many, many things and gave me my first tattoo machine and sent me on my way. And I think that things are going pretty well. And actually, I'd be interested to hear your feedback from what I've posted to see if you think that um, I'm doing fairly well. And I, any constructive criticism, I'm happy to take. So there's that. Um, any of my work is going under the name of Discordia Tattoo, and you get bonus points if you know what Discordia is from. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Lost Girls on tonight, actually in five more minutes. And uh, Bobo is my bish. If I were anybody on TV, like any character, I think, I would probably be Bobo before unaligned succubus. That girl's like a train wreck, man. So is mine. Eesh. But at any rate, that and uh, I don't know if you can hear in the background, the contortionist, new music, excitement all around. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've bored you to tears yet, but I realize now I'm seven minutes in and I'm boring myself, so I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you for bearing with me. This is the Anti-Stepford, and good night.